guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a fun uh, get ready with me video. I've never done one yet on my channel, so I thought it'd be perfect time. I hope you enjoy my messy hair. It's very like a lioness, but I think it's super appropriate for fall. And I got my chunky sweater on and I got my candle going. So yeah, if you guys wanna hang out with me and put on your makeup and do a fall look, then just keep watching. Oh my gosh, okay, do you guys see this like red mark right here? Like what's happening? I hope I didn't get bit last night. That would be really scary. So anyways, kind of have a lot on my mind. Um, my brother, I have half brother uh, from Texas and he is actually gonna be coming into town. He called, he texted me like two nights ago and I was just like a little bit shocked because um, I'm super excited, but I also have like, I wanna get like my house like prepared for them to, to, like, to be coming to our house. Um, I'm actually not even sure if they're gonna come, but I just want my house to be ready in case they do come. So that happened. My grandpa has stage four cancer right now. So um, that's pretty much why a lot of my family from Texas is gonna be coming down because we just wanna like spend time with him and stuff like that. And he lives in San Diego. Um, I live in a couple cities away from that here in California, so. So yeah, so that's a little bit, that's on my mind, obviously. And I wanna be able to spend time with them and like have an open schedule, if that makes sense. So um, I was telling my husband, I was like, well, we might as well like start doing something to our bathrooms because I mentioned in my intro, I don't know if you guys have watched that, but I'll put that in the description. But we did buy a house two years ago and it's a little bit of a fixer upper. We have like so much to do to it. And we've already done seriously so much in just like two years but the projects just keep coming and coming. And once you start something, then something else like shows up and you're like, okay, I really need to fix that. So that's kind of like where we're at right now. So we really want to get our bathrooms um, at least painted, um, like get the basics done. So that's kind of like what we're doing right now before he, before my brother comes into town. My And my husband does work. Um, you're probably wondering like, how is he home right now? He actually does work. He. Uh, broke his leg at work uh, two months ago. So that was super stressful. We've obviously like um, We've been enjoying like our time together and stuff because it's super cool to have him home. But, yeah um, Really quick. I'm gonna start with eyes today just because I think um, It's gonna be a little bit more of a dramatic look. So I don't want to have like fallout right here. So I'm gonna start with eyes. I'm just going with my soft ochre paint pot in case are you guys so ready for fall because I'm so ready for fall so excited i'm thinking about doing a like get ready for fall with me like a decor video so if you guys want to see that give me a thumbs up so i know every single year i like break out some of my old things but then like every year like sometimes my uh like vibe or my my mood changes so sometimes i'll take something out and i'm like i don't really like that this year so that's usually like i'll take it all out i'll see what i like and then i'll kind of go from there um, so like I was actually shocked that I used that orange flower because sometimes I'll use like the orange stuff and then sometimes I go for like a more like muted look. I really want to get one of those like super crochet like blankets that are out that like can be very expensive, but I'm pretty sure I saw one at Kirkland's for like half the price. So definitely want to pick that up because they are just so cute and so like fall in my opinion. Okay, so I'm going to go in with um, an old palette old palette. I've just had it for so long. It's the 35W. It's a Morphe palette. I'm not really sure like what I'm going for today. I think I want to do like more like bronzies with a little bit of orange on the eyes. And then with that burgundy lip, I think it'll be like so bomb. So I'm going to go into this third shade. Again, this is the 35W in case you're wondering. Put that all over the lid. All over, over the lid, over the transition area. It's so weird for me to get ready right now with no music on because I usually have my music blasting right now and I'm usually like having a dance party in between each freaking step and everything like that. So it's super weird for me. Like I feel like if a pin were to drop right now, I would totally hear it. I listen to like different music depending on my mood for that day. So like usually I'll listen to Pandora, of course, but I have it on um, my favorite music right now is Today's Alternative. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a total like hip hop girl sometimes and I'm a total, total country girl, but it just kind of depends on my mood, like I said. But like when I work out, I love to listen to hip hop. But when I'm getting ready or like doing things around the house, I like to listen to today's alternative. So I'm super weird like that, but 
Tell me if you guys are like that too. Please make me feel better. <laughs> Super anxious to see how this bathroom is turning out. Maybe I'll pop up a couple pictures of like the process. Um, but basically, long story short, my husband's bathroom was like a pale pink. Like we're talking like one shade above white of a shade of pink. And I was like, how have you been getting ready? Oh, mind you, we use two different bathrooms. So we have a master bathroom and he uses the bathroom that's down the hall. We do not believe in sharing the same bathroom. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care what you think, but we just don't like, I don't want to get grossed out by my husband, if that makes any sense. So he uses that bathroom and I use this bathroom. So his bathroom was like a pale pink because the previous owners had like a daughter who has the same room that Brooke does now. And obviously that was her bathroom. So it's been like a pale pink. There's like linoleum. I think that's what it's called on the ground still, which is like just not a very cute flooring. Like it's literally like, like super old. And then our house was built in 1987. So pretty much everything's original. So what we try to do is make everything like as, um, as up to date as possible, like with doing things like the cheapest way as possible. So what we've learned is that like paint does a really big, makes a really big difference. And, um, just like the basics, like paint and like our cabinets, right? Our cabinetry right now is like this like orangey brown that was like so popular in the 90s. Like I think like at all my friends' parents had that like in their houses. Um, but now that's not the style. So um, so yeah, we plan to like paint those and add hardware to those, um, which is like super fun. I'm sure you guys watch Fixer Upper, which if you don't, I don't know what you've been doing with your life, but Fixer Upper is where it's at, okay? Joanna Gaines is goals and Chip he is like the best husband ever. I love him so much. In fact, yesterday I was calling Josh, my husband, his name's Josh, I was calling him Chip. I'm like, Chip, do you think it's demo day right now? Because all I heard was like all this like ruckus and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I'm gonna go in with this like super pretty bronzy shade, just FYI. We love doing stuff to our house. I think your house is super important. I think there's this like saying I always think about like, like where you hang your hat like super important to me so even though like I don't wear a hat every day I think it's just like the expression but like it's important to love your home and to be proud of your home and to walk in and feel good and be inspired I'm just trying to make each room special and its own and I think your home should definitely reflect yourself and your personalities just like a wedding does I think a wedding like same thing it's like so cute when you go to someone's wedding and you can totally tell like their style what they're into their Sometimes even their morals will show, like it's just so interesting to me. So it's kind of how I am about my house. I want my house to be very inviting and welcoming and um, safe and sound. That is like my biggest motto. Like I love that song, safe and sound. It's like same thing. So speaking of weddings, if you guys don't know, I am a certified makeup artist here in California. I've been doing makeup for professionally for a little over six years and I enjoy it so much. Um, I love everything about weddings. I love like the fact that two people are committing their life to each other, like such a big deal. I love the weddings. Like I love like the decorating part and like putting it together, um, like the planning, like everything like that. So I love being a part of it. It's super exciting for me. Super excited actually next month I have a wedding I'm doing on a client and she's doing it at this like really beautiful venue. It's called um, The Farm. It's um, in a city called Norco, California, which is like a like a um, horse town area. I'm super excited because I've already done, I think two other weddings there. It's just so, it's literally like the most beautiful house I've ever seen. It's like an all white house, which you guys will get used to it. I am obsessed with white. White is my favorite color to decorate with when in doubt white like i just go white like i just love everything about white it's so pure and so like simple and just so beautiful so anyways the house that it's at is like a big white house and the venue is like in a barn and it is just like literally the coolest thing ever i love it and then not only that but like when i show up to the job i show up these beautiful like big gates open up and i'm greeted by dogs Okay, what more could you ask for? Dogs. Picture me, I get into the gate and then I drive through and then this dog comes like pouncing along right next to my car with me. And then we're, we're go like, I'm driving to like where I think I'm gonna be doing the makeup, which is like, they have like an actual like beauty room, like beauty room dedicated. It's like, 
a big room with like a bathroom and like um, a room for like putting on the wedding dress. Um, so I'm like driving there, but this dog is just like running alongside with me while I'm driving in. It's just like, yes, I want to be greeted by puppies and dogs. Like, yes, you know, so freaking cute. So I love that place. The owner's name is Tammy and she always said that like she needs my business cards and stuff. She's just such a sweet lady. So she has a really cool story too. She, um, I think what she was explaining was her husband and her like won the lottery twice or something like that. Like it's just like super cool, but they actually like, I think that's how they actually bought that home. I'm not sure, but, um, because that home is like worth like a couple of million. Um, so I think it's so cool that they now do weddings there because who would not want their wedding there? It's just so beautiful. So if you're ever in this area, go ahead and check it out. It's called The Farm and it's in Norco, California. So beautiful. So I really like the way that this is turning out. I have like gold bronzy on my um, eyes and then I did like a um, an orange in the transition area. But thinking about back to my ring, ring the alarm, um, look i really want to add a little bit more orange because i just love the vibrancy so i'm going into this like super solid orange color and this is like um a sigma e25 i don't use this brush too much but when i do i like fall in love all over again so see how like when i add a little bit of orange it just like makes the eye pop more love that i keep hearing like little tapping and i'm like oh, i wonder what's going on in there like with my husband in the bathroom like what's happening now how how different does it look because <laughs> literally it was so bad it's so funny too because when you're shopping for a house um you like okay like when i was shopping for house everybody was always like about kitchens and bathrooms that's literally all they cared about and i was like that's the last thing i care about like i just want the house to have character and like i cared about all these other things but then when you actually do purchase your home and you're in your home you're like now I see why bathrooms and kitchens are so important. But yeah, but I mean, I still, I would never regret purchasing this home. I love this house so much. Um, but the backyard was like completely done and that was like so nice. It has like vinyl fences, which a lot of the homes around here don't have the vinyl fences. So that makes a really big difference, but all those things matter. Okay, so now I need to put something in the crease area. I'm looking for, like I wanna do like almost like a, I love this chocolatey color right here. I'm just gonna pounce that in the corners. So what are you guys excited for when it comes to fall? Like, are you into decor? Do you love like makeup looks? Like what is your thing? I need to know you guys. It was so cute like hearing that like so many of my friends watch my videos because they're like, Jen, I feel like I'm just like sitting down with you and like watching like, what like well, you're in front of me and you're doing your makeup and I was like I love that like I literally if I would have known that that's how it was going to be with me doing the YouTube uh, I would have done it a long last time ago because that is like so cool I want you to feel that you're like with me and I want you to feel that you're like just like hanging out you know like having a good time and then one of my friends <laughs> she told me like so she has like a total office job and she was like Jen like I have your videos on she's like and then I have them with I have my headphones on and she's like, and then all of a sudden I'll just start cracking up and everyone looks at me and I'm like, oh my God, I'm like you're going to get in so much trouble. Like you're so silly, but I totally get that. Like whatever you got to do to get through the day, like do it, you know, music always helps. Oh my God. I'm loving the way this looks. Do you guys like this? I hope you guys like this. So it's super cool because when I first started doing makeup, um, summer weddings was like the thing. It was like beach weddings, which, um, I haven't talked too much about my wedding, but I'll, I will in the future. But, um, cause mine was like on a beach in Maui. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, when I first started doing makeup, it was like all about summer weddings and that was super exciting, but it got like super scary because around like fall or winter time, I would have like no weddings. And I'm like, well, how's that going to work? Like, hello, like my bills, I still have bills in fall, like, you know, um, so it was super scary, but now it is like the coolest thing because I feel like now everyone's branching out and like people are getting married, like all, like all the different times of the year. And so like, for instance, like I did a wedding where it was like up in the Arrowhead of California, which is 
like not too far from me. It's actually, the, the beach is 45 minutes away from me and the mountains are 45 minutes away. So I'm pretty blessed when it comes to that. Yeah, I did a wedding up in Arrowhead and it was literally snowing on the day of her wedding. Talk about gorgeous. I mean, talk, it was stunning. So that's what's super cool is like now brides are not, I feel like nowadays brides are not afraid of getting married in, um, in fall or like, you know, something other than spring or summer, which is like so cool. Cause I feel like five years ago, that's not how it was. So I'm really loving the way this is right now. I kind of did like the V and then if you notice, I didn't take this farther this way um, and I'm gonna move it over with my brush. So when I blend, I'm gonna go over to the side and kind of like bring that over, if that makes sense. But I really love like gradient looks. So that's kind of like what I'm going for today. Like I love when it just like fades. Like I love that. Like I do like some looks where it's like bam, 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 like color, color, color and like different colors. But I do love like the just like blown out looks, so. I know what I'm going for and I think I'm gonna do a wing today but I'm super nervous to do a wing on camera not gonna lie because that shit's hard like some some youtubers like even the ones that have been on for a really long time like they do not do both both eyes on camera like and I'm super nervous about it but I guess I gotta try it right I've been working on my eyes for a while but I think it'll be so worth it super pretty Time to go in with some liner. So even when I know I'm gonna do a gel liner, I still use a cold pencil, just in case like I miss like any little piece. Um, and don't laugh at me, mine is like super small right now. I need to get a new one. So it's like the end of September right now, but every single month there's like really big stuff happening. So, okay, obviously the end of September, nothing. But then October, I have my uncle's birthday, my stepdad's birthday, my daughter's birthday, my sister's birthday. It is a very expensive month. It's like just as expensive as Christmas, I feel like. So October, there's still Halloween. And then in November, there's my birthday and Thanksgiving, which I love Thanksgiving. Oh, I love tablescapes and I love getting around with family and being grateful for what we have. I love Thanksgiving. And then um, obviously December is Christmas time. So it's just like, there's just so much stuff happening. And then on top of that, I will be graduating in December. Um, I'm actually getting a bachelor's in um, early childhood studies, which I haven't talked much about, but I hope to in the near future. Um, but that's like a really big deal for me because um, yeah, I do online schooling. So I don't have like a lot of like school friends, friends which sucks. Um, and I am in my 30s, so um, it's a little bit different going back to school. So if you guys want me to film a video about that, I definitely will. But uh, yeah, I'll be just, uh, graduating in December, so I'm super excited about that. That's going to be pr a pretty big deal for me. Um, but I am going to school to be a teacher, so I will keep you guys updated with that. But I don't think I'll ever stop doing makeup. Like 100%, I think I'll probably be doing my daughter's prom makeup. Like... You know what I mean? Like I'll never stop doing makeup. So I'm hoping to do both. Like I want to do both. I want to be a teacher, but I also want to do makeup. So, which actually should work out because makeup's usually on the weekends. Like every once in a while I'll have um, a Friday wedding, which I don't know why a lot of people don't get married on a Friday because Fridays, the venues are like sometimes five grand cheaper. Just FYI, I don't know if you know that tip, but Venues on Fridays are gonna be a lot cheaper than say, on, for instance, on a Sunday. So keep that in mind when you are planning your wedding. But um, yeah, the fact that weddings are usually Friday, Saturdays, or Sundays is like super cool and it should really work out with um, being a teacher and like the schedule and stuff. So that'll be super cool. Super hard to do eyeliner and talk at the same time. So, I don't know if you've seen this cute little girl in my videos or if you've watched any of my other videos, but the cute little girl in my videos is my daughter. Her name is Brooke and my daughter had so much sass this morning when we were getting ready, OMG. She's seven, but seven going on like 14. Like I wanna be like, excuse me, are you seven or are you 14? Like I literally wanna ask her like every single day. I'm gonna grab my mirror because I really gotta get in this when I do my mascara, but. Yeah, my daughter is super sassy. She's, I mean, so much of me, but so much of my husband, it's not even funny. Like when I look at my daughter, I see my husband. Like I'm like, you have a button nose like your daddy. You have your lashes like your daddy, your brows are like your daddy. 
But then when she smiles and she does like little things, I'm like, oh, she's a little Jenny. Like she really is like me. Um, but yeah, she's just the cutest thing in the whole world. Um, she really wants to start her own YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm really excited for her because she's, she loves YouTube like I do. And it's so cute because um, I just put up a, like a blooper video. I don't know if you guys saw it, but you guys should definitely check that out because you will laugh your asses off. But um, she like died. Like she thought it was literally the funniest thing ever. And then like ever since I posted it every morning, she's like, mommy, can we watch that blooper video? And I'm like, you are the cutest thing. So she's like my number one fan, which is like the cutest thing ever because obviously I'm her number one fan and I always will be. So it's like super cute. Um, but it's also like, I feel like um, I don't want to like fail her, you know, if that makes sense. Like whatever I do, I feel like when you have kids, like you just don't want to fail them, you know? So I'm just putting on some mascara right now before I put on my lashes. But yeah, let me know. Do you guys have kids? Um, are you planning on having kids? Like, let me know. I want to know what's happening out there. I only have one daughter. Um, like I said, she's seven. She'll be eight next month. And I get asked all the time. I've been asked if I was going to have a second baby since she was probably like two months. And I'm like, remember her being like super young and I'm like, um, hello, like I, I'm freaking nursing right now. You want me to have, to have another baby right now? Like what's happening? The answer is I don't know. We don't know. But I will say I did some decluttering the other, the other day in my garage and came across a big old bin of all of her newborn stuff, which was super emotional for me. In fact, like in the middle, I, st I started bawling. And my husband, like, he doesn't do well with, like, emotions and stuff. So he was sitting there watching me. And, like, you could tell he was, like, getting, like, so frantic. And I was like, oh, my gosh, like, remember this, remember this. And he's just, like, sitting there, like, kind of, like, freaking out. And I'm like, everything's okay. Like, I'm going to be okay. Um, but it's just, like, it's super hard to get rid of that stuff because it means so much, much to you, you know. Um, and obviously now that my daughter's seven and stuff, it's like, she's so big now. So to picture her in like these little booties and like cute little things, it's just like so crazy. Like it's just, it was so long ago. Um, so yeah, it's just like, it takes you back, you know? Um, so yeah, being a mom is very emotional, very, it's the best gift in the whole world, but it's definitely like emotional, you know? Um. So yeah, so I don't know if we'll have a baby number two, but if we do, obviously you guys will see me because I'll be huge and I'll be eating a lot of stuff in the camera. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna slap on some lashes right now. All right, you guys, so off camera, I just slapped on some lashes. I'm really liking these ones. I haven't worn these ones in so long. They're very like spacey, um, but they're the 73 by Creme. I just love them so much. I forgot how much I like them. Um, but it's definitely like a different look. Like I wouldn't wear this like every day, but I'll definitely wear this for like a, a fall look, if that makes sense. So now I'm gonna go on with my primer. I like the uh, Makeup Forever Step One Equalizer Primer. I just think it's so bomb. Like I'm having a hard time want, like even wanting to try something else because this thing is just so bomb. Like I have major pores. Like my nose is like for like poor heaven. Like what I don't know what's happening with this nose but there are so many dang pores um and this thing like blurs them out so well so if you guys have problems with that definitely check it out I feel like my um makeup forever is just such a good product in general I mean their products are just so good in general they're such like an OG brand okay so for foundation today I am going to use Oh, you can barely see my neck in this. Um, I'm gonna use the Dream uh, Liquid Mousse Foundation. It's by Maybelline. It's in the shade Sandy Beige. And then I'm gonna mix it. So this is like very like light in tone. Um, and then I have two matte and poreless foundations. One's like very warm toned and one's very yellow. So I wanna mix in, I'm such an in-between. Like when it comes to like warm tone or cool tone, I'm so like literally, I'm just a neutral, neutral gal. Um, but I think I'm gonna mix, I think I'm just gonna use this one right now actually. And then if I need a little bit more yellow, I'll just add it in. And then I'm gonna use my G6. I love this brush. Just bomb, I'm good. So I love this foundation. It's from the drugstore, obviously, um, but it's super pretty. 
um, but I do need two layers of it. So I'll go in with my first coat like this and just kind of like paint it on and do it like ever so sl like sloppy. <laughs> two more pumps. Okay, so I'm just putting that all over the face. Do you guys hear that? My, my husband must be cutting like the baseboards right now, which is like so exciting. I'm sorry if it's annoying to hear, but it's so exciting for me because I'm like, new baseboards, thank God. So our baseboards are pretty, like, pretty old. They're probably the baseboards that came with this house. So this house was built in 1987. So they probably have been here since 1987. So yeah, so this foundation is definitely like a light to medium coverage. Um, and it's the mousse one. And I had a friend recommend it to me. And I knew I was going to love it because every time I saw her skin, she would look amazing. And so I'd always ask her, like, what are you wearing? Um, now, mind you, what you what you put on before your foundation is going to make a difference. What you put on after your foundation is going to make a difference. Like what kind of powder you're using, what kind of brush you're going to use is going to make a big difference. So you could use the same product as me and we could get two different outcomes. So always keep that in mind, too. But I did ask her, like, just in general, like, what foundation is that? And she's like, it's from the drugstore gen drugstore gen um my mom always tells me that i don't speak clearly and so if she was here right now she'd be like jenny you need to speak clearly and i'm like okay mom <laughs> but like when you're a mom when when you're like when you're a grown up and then you're a mom yourself you're like just be quiet mom like i don't want to hear it like i love you i respect you but i'm a mom now i get it <laughs> speaking of my mom my mom is like super hippie so that's why there's like a little pinch in me that's like kind of hippie like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like, I don't have like a Facebook or anything. Um, maybe I'll do one. I don't know. But there's a little hip hippie in me and I just, technology is just like, ah, but um, I'm going to go in with one more layer, by the way, um, just in my problem problematic areas. Um, but I visited my mom the other day, which she only lives like one city over. So it's not like I'm like going like super far to see her or anything. I visited my mom the other day and I was explaining to her like, my mom does not own a computer. She like does not know what, like she does not use the internet. My mom is just super hippie like that, right? Like she's born in the fifties, like she's just not having it, okay? And that's just her and I love her for that and that's just her. But I was trying to explain to her like what Pandora is, what YouTube is because I was trying to explain to her that like, you know, I'm on the internet, like mom, you know, <laughs> and she's just like, she thinks it's like the coolest thing. Um, but she also is just like, I don't know. She's just like so cute, but she's like, can you like make an account for me so I can like subscribe? And I'm like, yeah, mom, like I can. She's so funny. Like if she, she had a computer, she would be like a big fan. You know what I mean? But that's just not where she's at in my life. In, in, that's just not where she's at in her life. She's just a Dodie. Her name's Dodie, so she's hilarious. There's nobody else like her in this world, I swear. Okay, so anyways, we have a nice face. It's a little bit whiter than my neck, maybe like a shade, but I would rather have my face be a little bit lighter than too, too dark. Um, I'm super big on that. So, because once you go in with like your contour and everything like that, or your bronzer, your face uh, warms up anyways. So you always wanna start off a little bit lighter, okay? And then I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way concealer. Dang, that thing's loud. Sorry about that. I keep hearing my husband use that saw thingy. And so I get a little bit distracted. Sorry about that, but. Um, Super curious about what's going on in there. I can't wait to see it. On Tuesdays, I used to just have fixer upper like in the background um, on like 24 seven throughout the day, like whatever I was doing. Um, Cause it's just so inspiring. Like you see like the projects that they're doing and it's just like so cool. And it really does change your mood. Like when you do things like, it's like when I walked into my husband's bathroom the, like a minute ago, he went from like a peel bathroom, peel, a pink bathroom to like a really cool, it's called like pumpus or something, but it's just like going to change everything. Like he's going to go in there and what, not feel like a girl? Like I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but like I know what I'm trying to say. Like you just go in there and it already feels so different. And then I do the decorating. So 
my husband like he can do like the garage and stuff like that but like when it comes to the inside of this house like that's all me like you know what i mean um so i can't wait to decorate it for him and make it like super masculine and i was already showing him like some hardware pieces and um and like just i mean because even though i'm gonna pick it out like i still want him to have a choice obviously i'm not like that much of an asshole so i was just like showing him like different ones or whatever and um just just to kind of see like what he's going for right now because I do like like my house is like mostly like rustic glam with like a little bit of coastal in there um and a ton of French because I'm obsessed with like French um but when it comes to like the bathrooms I get like I kind of like it a little bit more modern so um that's where I'm at right now so I was just showing him like different ones I was like we could totally do this I don't know do you guys want a house tour like let me know because that would be really fun Okay, so I'm just stippling this into the skin. This is like the concealer and now the foundation. And it already feels like so clean, I love it. So now that's done and then I'm gonna let that sit for a second. I'm not gonna go directly in with powder right away. I'm gonna let that sit for a second and hang out and then I'm gonna start working on my drop shadow. So I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D. Um, I actually have, this is so messed up. I just realized that I totally like crossed um, cross brands because this is um Kat Von D and then this is Anastasia Beverly Hills um but I just like pop this in here so that I have it because I hit all the way pan of Kat Von D's um setting powder which obviously just says that I just loved it that much. actually no this one was the bronzer and this was this is where it should actually go but it would never fit but so I just like popped in a little magnet and then I just popped this in here because I still have a ways to go with these colors and then these colors I can use on like clients so I can't believe I did that. I hope she forgives me. But anyways, I'm gonna use um, my brush and just go in with that and set the eyes. So yeah, I'm just setting my eyes now, going underneath the eyes, making sure I bring it up over here. Middle of my forehead, basically the T-zone. Okay, so now that's done. And now I can work on the drop shadow because I just felt like I needed to set that real quick. I'm gonna go in with the 35W again to do my drop shadow. Love this palette. This palette's got a lot of love. In fact, this guy fell out. My makeup gets so banged up, like when doing weddings and stuff, like it's just like, it's literally like getting like pushed around and kicked and whatever. So my makeup gets a lot of beat up if that makes sense. I'm just gonna go in with this bone color again the bottom I think you guys will really um I think you guys will see me do like a lot of looks and stuff even though some of these looks are a lot like a lot for some people I think you guys will kind of understand that um I do like um my technique is very natural like even though I'll have like a lot of makeup on or I'll do like a super like glam look my look my overall like technique and stuff is um very natural looking like I'm super big on that I like a person to look as well as myself I like to look myself you know what I mean like I don't ever want to like someone to see me and be like who is that you know because they have so much makeup on or they look so different um so I'm really big on that so okay so I use that one right now and then I'm gonna go in with this one that's a little bit darker and go right over that I use a smudger brush because my bottom um the bottom of my eyes are super sensitive like if I go in with like a different brush that's not soft, it like hurts me. It's like the weirdest thing. So, okay, now that that's like brown enough for me, I'm gonna go in um, with the color that I used um, on the top, this like chocolatey brown one. Oh, see how that just like ties it all together now? Oh, I love that. So it's like a brown, but it definitely has like purple tone to it. And then I have a little towel here. I always use like a little like washcloth and I wipe off my brushes um, like in between because you never want to go and like try to blend with like a really dirty brush if that makes sense. And then I am going to take a blending brush. I'm going to use the MAC 217, an OG. I'm going to go in with that orange color, swirl it around. And I'm going to go under that and just blend, blend it like this. And I'm connecting it with the top. Something that I always think about when I'm doing my drop shadow that I think is like super cool is 
I always wondered like, why do you have to do a drop shadow? You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, well, why do we put like shadow on the bottom? But it really does make it like all cohesive and like a nice, like it like connects it all because like it's like one area, if that makes sense. Um, but also what's really cool is I used to be like super into Barbie, which I totally still am because like my daughter like still plays with Barbie sometimes. But um, if you ever look at a Barbie and you look at their makeup, they have eyeshadow on the top and the bottom. And like what it does is it's making the eye look appear bigger too. So it's a really cool thing. I learned that, I, I noticed that like when I was like super young, but um, I always think about that now when I do like my drop shadow or when I'm doing something especially like this where it's like pretty low. Cause I'm like, well, Barbie does it. Like, why can't I? Okay, I'm gonna go put in some black liner on the bottom. Okay, so now that I have the black eyeliner on, now I can go in with my mascara. I'm gonna go do that off camera. I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna go on and do my brows and I'm actually gonna do my brows off camera. So if you guys wanna see how I do my brows, go ahead and watch my brow tutorial. I'll pop that below in the screen or I'll put it in my description box, but I'll be right back with some brows. Okay, now that that's done, we are gonna go to contour. I think to change it up on you guys, I'm gonna use Hoola. Look at my hula, you guys. I need a new one so bad. Um, I love using this little thing in it. Like I, I do like use my contour brush every once in a while, but I'm gonna start off with this one and then I'll use my other brush so you guys will see. So I'm gonna go in with my hula bronzer, whatever in there. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty contoury today, so I'm gonna go pretty harsh on this. And I know some of my friends have asked me to do a contour video, so I will try to get that up very soon, you guys. But what you should know is you really just go with your own anatomy. So, like I have a bone somewhere in here, like right here, like you can feel it. That's where the contour is gonna, supposed to be. See that? Boom. And then you always put a little under your lips because it makes your bottom, look, bottom lip look a little bit more plump. And we all know I need that. I'm gonna put a little bit on the sides of my nose I don't think I need to make my nose look any more skinny than it is, so I don't do too much. But if you have like a more like rounded nose right there, then definitely hit that up right there. And then I'm gonna do the top right here. I love this bronzer because it's like, it's such a good shade on so many people. And it's such like a, it's a very like ashy color, which is, I mean, your contour is supposed to look like a shadow, right? So it's super cool because it's like a true contour shade. Like, I don't know how to describe that, but I'll be used get it. So now that I did like sharp lines with this, I'm gonna go in with my uh, MAC 168. Might be 129, shoot. I know it's 168. And then just go around with that. Darken that up just a little bit. Cause it is almost fall, right? It is a fall look, so let's fall it out, you guys. Now, time for some blush. I love blush. It just oh, makes everything so pretty and like, oh, I love it. So I'm going to go in with um, a MAC. It's called Faux Sure. Super pretty. Um, has a little bit of shimmer to it. I'm going to go in with that today. Then we are gonna do some highlight. I'm gonna use uh, You Do You by Ofra Cosmetics. I just realized that I wanted to add a wing and I just did highlight which can be very tricky to go do a liner after highlight because it gets a little bit like messy. So I'll decide right now if I wanna do a wing in a second. What I think. I'm doing the top part of my head, my face. So if I was basking in the sun right now, where the light would hit would be like right here and right here. So that's why I do my forehead a little bit. 
I know some people get super nervous and they're like, why are you putting highlight on your forehead? You know, it already gets like sweaty enough. Um, but I love it right there. I just think it's like, makes it like so dimensional and just so pretty. But I do blend that out. So make sure you blend it out. So I would wipe this off and then blend that out a little bit. So you don't want just like a line. Okay, definitely wanting a wing right now. People do wings in a different way. Um, but the truth is, is I have the most control with a brush. And so I always use a brush. Um, I know some people can just like slab on a bomb ass wing with like a liquid eyeliner. I wish I was that girl, but that is not my thing. Um, I think when I was younger, I used to be obsessed with liquid eyeliner, um, especially because it's always like really, really black. But as I got older and stuff, and I think maybe my eyes like changed a little bit and stuff, I really like like a gel liner. So that's what I'm gonna use today and I'm gonna use my MAC 263. Squeeze the brush together so that's nice and even. And then I wipe off my finger so that when I go touch my face right now, I don't get like black all over it because it's not Halloween yet, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna close my eye, pull it taut a little bit. I wanna make sure it's nice and even with the brush. Because remember, I've only used a coal so far. And then I'm just gonna add a wing right here. And then I'm just gonna connect it. That's it. Nice little, you know, wing. And now I gotta make it even on the other side. <sighs> okay. All right, so now that I have a little bit of a baby wing on the sides, um, I'm gonna go in with my inner corner highlight. Let's see if there's anything I can use from this palette, I forgot. Definitely not. I'm gonna go in with MAC Nylon. It's like a gold shade, super pretty. I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. Oh my gosh, another thing is my brushes shade, shade? No, they, uh, what's it called? Oh my God, shed, Jesus. They shed so much because I'm constantly cleaning the heck out of them, obviously, being a makeup artist and stuff. So I always have like miscellaneous hairs everywhere and I'm like, so frustrating. So I'm gonna go in with Gash by Urban Decay and I'm gonna go in with Diva by MAC. Boom. Fucking beautiful. Okay, so loving this color. This color is so beautiful. It's like wine. It's like spill some wine on me right now in my white dress and I wouldn't even care color. <laughs> yeah, now I just need some setting spray. Take out this clip. Fluff the dew. All right, you guys, so that completes the look. It's a very fall appropriate, just stepping into the leaves. They're crunching under my feet kind of look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I did a tiny bit of a wing on the sides, nothing major. Um, keep it subtle and pretty. And yeah, I think the lip ties it all in. And 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video and if you like the get ready with me because I'll be happy to do this again with you in the future. I love this type of video. It's super fun to watch and just super natural. So if you guys like that and you guys like to hear about my life and stuff, um, then yeah, I'm super excited to go check out that bathroom right now. And I love you guys and thank you so much for watching. Bye.